I'm laughing because we, we were just enjoying the beautiful, peaceful countryside here, which, which it is, absolutely. And you know you're in Portugal because you've got a, a barking dog in the distance as well and the very occasional car. And uh, I'm sat here with uh, Paul at the Delgado Mansion, the owner of this incredible place. And uh, we've just had a little look round. It's been a few months since I was last here. And um, work has uh, progressed. There is a beautiful wine cellar next to the gym, next to the studio apartments, uh, next to the meeting room, uh, which opens out onto the vineyard. And that is just the basement. There is a house, a beautiful luxury house on top as well, and a pool uh, that I'm looking out over. And you can hear the canna just just dancing in the breeze, basically. And this is the... Um, the spot where Paul was telling me just now he likes to have a morning coffee, see the sun come up as we're looking over the vineyard. So, Paul, thank you very much for inviting me back here. How are you today? Yeah, I'm just fine, thank you. Just uh, excellent. Uh, the, the weather seemed to be uh, sunny almost every day. It's been pretty good, good weather. The construction work is definitely ready, so I'm very happy now to, to feel, uh, to get this uh, house out on the market. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, I have quite lots of uh, viewings already, so there's a, there's a big interest. The, the thing about this this wonderful place, the Delgado Mansion, is it, it's a it's a fabulous concept that people really need to understand that it is a luxury house. It is the Delgado Mansion, which is an impressive, beautiful property. That's how a, a real estate agent would describe it: imposing, impressive property as you drive up. But there's much more to it than that, isn't there? There's a vineyard we're looking over, and there's a possibility, the potential that, that we've seen that you, in the way that you've created the basement area. Now, you, we, were, we were laughing before because you described it as a lump of concrete four years ago that you bought that could be seen from the, uh, from the skies on Google Maps. And you've brought about the most incredible transformation of this property. What, what, was, what is the concept as you see it and as, as we can share it with people that includes the basement, the vineyard, and, and the whole luxury living concept here? Either you have uh, uh, this as a big family home, could be uh, sort of a family living in, in Lisboa uh, who wants to come out to the countryside. So you are only 40, 45 minutes from, from Lisbon. Uh, or my idea then was to have uh, the basement as uh, like an Airbnb uh, for small conferences. You have a conference room. You have the uh, gym, a big uh, full gym, uh, and all of the rooms, of course, have exit down to the wind yard on the background. You can use it, uh, I was thinking about the elderly home. Mm. Uh, they pay enormous of money for small crappy rooms uh, in Caldas, I know that for sure. Here you have, they have peace, they have their own exit, uh, they, their own kitchenette. Uh, everything is sort of prepared for them, or you can have it uh, purely for uh, long long term rental. You isolate sort of the rooms uh, from uh, the upper two floors, uh, and you use the four or five bedrooms downstairs uh, for long term rentals. So th that's what sort of uh, the idea because it's extremely peaceful. Yes, you hear the dog because. <laughs> He, I don't understand how the dog can it's, it's Portugal, isn't it? We've got normally in the soundscape of a Portuguese of the Portuguese countryside is a church, maybe the Bombeiro Shalom at lunchtime, um, a dog, a cockerel, or a church bell ringing in the background. Uh, yeah, the the, the uh, church bell. Yeah, you hear that when it's and I kind of like like that night nice, uh, sound. Well, do you know where my mind was going with this, Paul? When looking around. This would be the most amazing residential retreat center around yoga, cooking, wine, just the amazing experiences you can have in Portugal and to, to stay in, in beautiful accommodation. So the, it, it does, the basement lends itself. I mean, ba basement's the wrong word, isn't it? Basement sounds like a dark, dingy yeah. place. Every room in this house, uh, the top two floors and, and the ground level that opens out onto the vineyard, uh, vineyard at the back, has a beautiful view. How have you? There's not many places that can say that, can they? That every, every room has a fantastic view. Actually, you have there's a square meter inside of 968 square meter living area. Uh, and uh, each room on the two upper floors, they have uh, they have three six five view. 
just everywhere, every the window you look out, you see the valleys and the 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 fruit areas, because this area is one of the most uh, expensive and the most uh, precious uh, fruit in uh, Portugal, and they export it. Uh, for example, the pears, the praca is world famous, so they export them worldwide. So all this is fruit and wine district. Here you have extremely uh, nice uh, view, and um, I really enjoy being here. It's, it's peaceful. It so is. It so is. There's my family in the background uh, disturbing that peace uh, for a moment there. But talk to us more about that location. You said 40 minutes from Lisbon. Sure. And I know f from uh, for a fact, because I was here recently at the uh, Buddha Eden Garden, which is the most incredible place to go to in Portugal. Obidos, Caldas de Reña. This is brilliantly located, isn't it? It is, definitely. I mean, you are two minutes from the A8. You are uh, 40 minutes from uh, Lisboa. Uh, Buddha Eden is, uh, as you said, an uh, incredible pr place. You are around 10, 15 minutes from there. The ocean, if you want to go to Peniche or, or Fostarelio or uh, Lorinia or whatever, we speak about 20 minutes uh, by car, of course. Uh, and uh, so you have the sea and you have the, the, the views here and the, 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 the country life. And then you have, uh, you are near, for example, also Obidus. That's only 10 minutes from Obidos, mm. which is the old castle. Uh, and then uh, you have another couple of minutes to post radius to the sea. So, no, it's, 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 it's a good spot. And um, it's a good spot for if you, if you find the pin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, Paul's referring to uh, me and the other Carl uh, struggling to find... Well, it makes it a secret location, doesn't it? On, on the positive side. <laughs> on the positive side. <laughs> but it is nestled, nestled in, the, in the Portuguese countryside, as Paul says, in, in orchard country. This is the Silver Coast Orchard District. Um, and, and it is really beautiful. I can see vineyards and I can see um, uh, orchards, fruit trees, the birds are singing and, and, and the wonderful bamboo type plants uh, on, the, on the boundary here are just swaying beautifully in the wind and the, the birds are singing. The, the other thing is that uh, if you look at the cost of living here, uh, you look at the uh, utilities like the electricity, water, it's extremely low cost. Uh, you have an average, you know, and it's 968 square meters. It's a big house, and I use a, a pellet burner, which could be upgraded with solar panels for the warm water heating, and I have everything here done. Uh, you have um, a cost for 60, 70 euro for the water total per month. I have uh, installed, uh, there's a well uh, with a, a big pump with a uh, uh, pumping the water to to the garden, but it's also analyzed and it's drinkable water. But I use it mainly for the garden and the console water for for the inside house. Uh, so it's extremely low cost uh, of living. It is. Uh, I, I pay more than that in my three bedroom semi detached no, house. No, to see. <laughs> I had, to know, I had to know what you're doing. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I was lucky. No, I had, um, I mean, uh, you use uh, normally the pellet burner from December until the end of February, three months. And I top it up sort of uh, six bags uh, for every four or five days. I fill it up. So extremely low cost of, of um, electricity. And, and it's a warm water radiator system. 24 in the house of them, <laughs> and even the, the towel, uh, uh, what you towel rails, towel yeah, yeah. rails towel heaters, yeah. uh, to, for the towel. So, uh, no, it's uh, cheap. Um, you can, of course, uh, install a heat pump uh, with solar. Then, of course, uh, uh, the, uh, you probably will have a more expensive uh, in initial cost, uh, another 30, 40,000 for a heat pump. But uh, I, I've stayed and I kept it warm during the winter. Then you turn it off and because it's very thick walls. It's like a, like an old castle kind of. You know, the, <laughs> it is. It is that, it's a modern castle, yeah, it's a modern for sure. Castle. So thick, fat walls. So the insulation is there. So, you know, you turn it off and there is no more after, I think, end of February. There is no more heating. Some gas, uh, small heaters sometimes, but... That's it.
It's incredible what you've done here. And the, and the key word that, that hits me, and is what uh, the other Carl said when he opened the door, he was really sort of taken aback by the tranquility. Uh, and that is that is certainly a key word, a key quality of this of, of the Delgado Mansion. It's it's tranquil. I th- it's, I could sit here to chat to you all afternoon. It's a lovely place to be, but um, I should let you go. And um, thank you, and wish you all the best. And and just say remark upon what an amazing job you've done here from the old lump of concrete. Um, your vision is incredible. Uh, your circumstances have changed, and this is going to be an incredible gift in a sense to the next person who comes along and is able to, to, to see the vision that you've created and run with it. Yes, you know, I appreciate you came here and, uh, you know, it was really kind of you to come and do this interview and look at the place and appreciate it. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I feel great. I feel a bit older, <laughs> <laughs> a few years, but um, I would say it took uh, from 2019 uh, about this... Uh, piece of uh, uh, rubbish and then created this uh, over four years they had the covid in between and then of course uh, it's been quite a lot of work but um, um, i have the on and off uh, uh, workers here and uh, so we, i'm happy with the result and hopefully the next the buyer will feel the same thing uh, feel the tranquility as you said and um, it's it's extremely calm and quiet here. I love the place, and it's dry. Yeah, I was always sick in Foster Elio. I lived there before near the sea, because of the micro climate. Oh, the humidity there. The right. humidity yeah. here. Not since he moved here, nothing, nada. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Amazing, and I think we've taken our cue. I mentioned the dogs barking and the cockerels crowing. We've just had the church bells ringing. Uh, which I think signals the uh, the end of our conversation here. But thank you so much, Paul, and all the best with it. Thank you.